Hey, hi folks. Larry here, and hey, I'm back, and uh, thought I'd hang out with you for a little bit and uh, let you know what's happening. Hey, mail call. That's what's happening. So, I just got this brand new bag in today. Now, I have a lot of bags, but with my B12 deficiency that causes me to be off balance, the bags I have are too large and some are heavy so it it's kind of makes me walk even more awkward so I need to find a smaller uh, messenger bag to carry my things in so here's what I got today and let me tell you I'm satisfied with this and this my friends is a handmade bag comes from India and the name of it Mr. Announcer uh, this is listed as a new genuine vintage leather messenger bag uh, shoulder laptop bag and it is manufactured by Shaken. Yes, authentic Indian craftsmanship and it says this. Dear customer, I can get it out here. Since our products are handmade, we advise you to combine our products with dark outfits initially. The color might slightly change. Chicago Leather Journal promotes child education and it shares its 1% of profit with NGO possibly S in providing poor children books and other stationery in remote area of Raja R A J A S T H A N Rajatan Ampar I'll butcher that but that's what it says uh, each product is crafted with passion and high dedication towards the authentic and rich Indian art. And you can always uh, visit their website at www. and I'll spell the name S H A K U N then leatherjournal. dot com. Okay, right there is where you can get in touch with them. Uh, you know. I'm really pleased uh, and you can check out that website as well this bag is very 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 affordable or I couldn't have bought it so I won't mention the price but I'll let you do the flavor of looking it up because they have more than just this style of bag you will be totally satisfied so anyway here's a bag and I'm going to show you now and here's the strap I just put it together and uh, this part here comes with it so uh, it has magnets very strong powerful magnets that hold it together and this is the inside green okay and then on the inside all my goodies right there okay and it has a zipper inside here and then it has one compartment, another bigger main compartment, and then another compartment. So it has two compartments, total of three compartments with the one in the middle making it the biggest, which I carry this in there in my uh, iPad. Okay. Now, if I wanted to put my iPad Pro in there, I wouldn't have a problem as, at all doing that in there as well okay so uh, put this back in there I am really excited about it I'm really satisfied about it uh, and one more thing is that uh, it has another zipper on the back right here really really impressed with the work the craftsmanship that's uh, they put into this so uh, I want to thank uh, the craft makers in India for doing such a remarkable job thank you very much so next thing I got in the mail today something that I use religiously lock bead. and a special thank you to Chris Chris I purchased these uh, a few days ago I, I believe I bought three of the journals, so this is how they come when you order something from Lockbee. Okay. So I'll go ahead and open it up. Okay. 
and there's my tree right here. And you know what I like about the Lockby uh, Journal Low Books? Uh, I like they have the rule. They have the wider rule and the more narrow rule, depending what your flavor is. And you can check them out at Lockby.com. Uh, they just came in because they've been out of stock. These their journals sell really quick. Why? When you have quality products at an affordable price, bam, it's gone out the window. And I give this a thumbs up. So, you know, what's really cool about this, they're a 5 by 8 uh, size and they have 72 pages with the stitch binding as well. And I, I like the little diagram on top. It's going to show you what each book is so you don't have to be opening the book. Is it is it the... Uh, the grid or is it the blank or is it the uh, wide line or the thin line blah 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 it's all there plus I have the uh, calendar planner as well which has really been really really good so that's what come in today and while we're at it I'll just go ahead and let me just take out my lock me Here's right here. They have the blue one, they have the black one, and the charcoal one now. Okay? And if you go to the sides, you're going to also be able to see they have their pocket one as well. That uh, you have the smaller journals you can put in there. Uh, then they have uh, another one as well where you can put four pins in and then have the pockets up front. Uh, I believe those are in my other room, so... Uh, I am not going to show you those yet, so, but you can see, check my video, I show them all in my video. But anyway, I just put this one in temporarily to these came in, and uh, I'll just show you that, you know, on this paper the ink goes through it, you can tell that real easy. But when I use these journals, it doesn't go through it at all. This is the Lock B right here, uh, calendar and planner as well. And here's my Lock B with the grid on it right here. And this is Tomo River paper, really sweet stuff. Then here is the uh, blank paper in it now. Uh, I do want to show you that I really put the ink on there heavy, so what bled through a little bit was the base state blue. But that d did this on all my paper, Clairefontaine, Rhodia, uh, many more that I tried it on, so it's just not this paper. But this paper is my favorite paper, and I really, really like it. So, uh, and then, well, back here I keep an extra one of the the grid dot grid back here or I can put an A5 uh, journal back here if I want then over here you have pockets I keep my business cards in here as well and uh, you have another pocket underneath here then you got a pocket here and you can put paper clips erasers whatever have you uh, I usually carry a mechanical pencil in here uh, why I, I guess that's just my favorite because uh, um, if I write something down and make a mistake then I can't erase it so for right now the mechanical pencil or number two pencil works for me fine uh, that's not saying that I don't use uh, ink because all this is is ink. Okay? Just my preference. And I do like to change out a lot. But you know what? Uh, if you haven't tried Lock B, then I'm going to say, what's keeping you? Affordable? And I tell you what, I have ran this field note journal through the hills, through the rocks. I really gave it a good work over to see how it's going to stand up. And 
Let me tell you, it has made the test time. Good stuff, good price. Now, I'm not just trying to mislead you. I'm not that tight. Good stuff. Okay. I guess I'll share one more thing with you. It has nothing to do with journals, but I'm... Are you curious what's in this bag? What do you think? Yes, yeah, let's yeah. find out. I'm curious what's in this bag. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Who's out there knows my favorite rock and roll group? I have... I love rock and roll. Right, so here it is. Who do you think, Mr. Announcer? Oh, it's going to be the Beatles. Okay, yeah. You're right. So, and this is one person I have in here. Here we go. Ah. Uh -huh. This is imagined by John Lennon. Go! Right there. There you go. Yeah, I'll wear that tomorrow. So, that's pretty cool, right? Pretty awesome. Right. Okay, so, now it's time to talk about a pen. Okay, here's the pen. It's the Jinhao 8802. It's porcelain and black with a chrome trim, and it comes with a fine nib. And uh, so this video is sponsored by a friend of mine that likes to remain silent. So I think that's really pretty. Uh, the roses, I mean the, the, the leaves on the tree, the birds, really a nice looking pen. It's got a nice little weight to it and it weighs in about, with ink, 45.2. So, and what's interesting about this pen, it says right here, um, this is not a luxury branded pen, okay? And it carries no such logos. And is not made of actual porcelain. So they want to clarify that. So just in case this reminds you of another pen, they're telling you this to say, hey, this doesn't have that, this and that. So, uh, the... Uh, it's a pull-off cap, and uh, it's got a 0 0.5 millimeter nib, and it uses standard international cartridges or converter. It's a nice pen. So I've been using it, checking it out, and the ink I'm using, I'll let Mr. Announcer... Uh, let me get this ink right here. I'll let Mr. Announcer pronounce it because I will butcher it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, goodness. This is... Uh, Spell it if you have it. It's Huanco. Okay. Now, let me show you about this bottle. It's a pretty cool bottle, right? It is cool. And I just noticed this today. You know, each side are cut off the square perfectly. But then I noticed this one. I said, oh, I wonder what that's for. So I finally said, okay. There you go. I guess for decoration, so you can put other bottles, I guess, to... Well, up. also, that'll allow the ink to pool down in yes. that corner to pick it up easier. Right, you can do that. But now, when you're doing that, though, you know, you have the cap open, you put in, you want to make sure that it doesn't fall over. Because I think we'll have a little cleanup to do. When you think? I'll let you try, okay? Well, I would be holding on to it at the All time. I so. see. Good day. Look at here. La, 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 bleh. Did you know these can talk? Sure, I can't. Okay, so. How we doing, people? Are you ready to rock and roll with some riding? Okay, we're going to do some riding, and I'll shut up only for a little while. Okay? Okay. Mwah! Middle single cool. All right. All right. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Because I speak on the properties of love, baby. All right, so here we go. With the Jin Hao. 
Lick a lick a law, lick a lick a law, la li la la. Let me get all this back together. Hold your britches, hold your britches. Here we go. All right. Now, here we go. This is the Jin Hao. One of my favorite pins. All right. Now, that's the 8802 with a fine nib. And this is the Hikalakala ink. There you go. Okay. English is still a little squirrels. It's got good egg uh egg <laughs> ink flow. And it's it does have some witness to it, but I I believe with a different <coughs> ink I will get more of a much more wetter ink flow and I'll just take the barrel off to check how much ink is left because I've been using it today so here it is yeah so let me just do this okay. it does <coughs> come with a pull out converter pretty standard uh, and they run anywhere from $8.99 up to $15-$17 uh, some are free shipping, some are not. Just depends where you're buying it from, downstroke and cross stroke. This is with pressure, no pressure, so you do get a little bit. On that downstroke, check it out. Cool. Now, reverse writing, you're not going to get anything. So there's nothing on that. So there you have it. <clears throat> and to the person who sent me this pen, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I've enjoyed using it. And folks, if you would like me to uh, check out any of your hardware, send it to me. Just uh, write to my e my Gmail address, and it's Larry B zero seven one one at gmail dot com. There you go. <laughs> right. Very cool. Now, while we're at pens, let me talk to you about some more pens. <clears throat> People, if you're on a budget <clears throat> and you can't afford the high-end pens with all the bells and whistles, then, you know, pens like this is cool. I've got buku of these, uh, different brands, uh, different styles. Uh, th they're great. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so, and you can even go a little crazy and get these right here, uh, a friend of mine gave me a couple of sets of these. I, I love these pens. They're, for me, they're just stunning. I, I love the way they feel, the way they write. Uh, I love the ink color in them. I mean, for five bucks, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I believe they have standard cartridges in there. Now, you can't uh, use them as a eyedropper <clears throat> because they have the holes on the bottom of the barrel but I was going to get some Gorilla Glue later and I'm going to stop up them holes and I'm going to probably use some of these as a <clears throat> excuse me eyedropper so really nice and I've been working in my adult coloring book and I use these and I use Crayolas and I use my Pencil. It just depends uh, what coloring book I'm using on the background. If it's uh, a real dark background, I'm going to stay with the colors that pop. And sometimes I get a Q-tip and I'll dip it into ink and I'll swab the drawing with that as well. Also, I may use the... Uh, uh, the candle crayon dropping inks 
on the uh, pages to make it look a little different and they get those colors combined it looks really awesome uh, I learned that in elementary school that was a great idea by Mrs. Brown the art teacher so that's what I got for you today my good friends uh, once again I really have given this yak from Pin Boutique a workout and again thank you Lena from Pin Boutique for sending me this beautiful stunning pin case for review now you can get the same pin case with a high-end name I would say like Visconti and they're like $240, $270 and where this one you can get for 70 bucks and let me tell you I take it everywhere I go now right here I've got a little bit of ink that I've done so I will take it off later I said you know what nah I ain't gonna worry about it this thing quality it's made very well great they did a great job of making this and they're working on a new one that's going to be coming out that I will uh, let you guys see. So my pin carry for right now is the the Jin Hao I just talked about. The Mont Blanc 149 with a broad nib with that beautiful rose gold trim. The Conklin Durograph, which is one of my favorite fountain pens has a <clears throat> excuse me fine nib on it and then this is the pilot uh, I believe the Justice 95 with a fine nib that you can adjust the nib on it hard or soft then I have the pilot custom 74 I believe let me see if I'm right yes sir. no this is the pilot custom 743 and this one you unscrew love pilot pins uh, and this one has the medium dip so uh, I'll be pulling out some more pins pretty soon I've got about 12 I need to clean out but the pilot Prera is going to be coming back out again to use uh, you know I just have a great time with my fountain pens don't you guys really I mean seriously that's why we have them right and now uh, do you ever say that I have enough pens I'm not buying anymore I'm not buying those pens are too expensive well, you're right about that but then we end up buying them how about ink I've said many many times I have friends say the same thing you know I'm not buying no more ink I'm done then I buy it this is our destiny this is what we do this is who we are we shine we are people of the night day 24-7 pin enthusiast so put your hands up I am a pin enthusiast and proud of it bit isn't that right Mr. Hunter? oh Blech. yes Blech. so anyway so folks thank you each and every one of you for staying there and hanging in there with me dealing with my health issues and that's why I wanted to let everybody know what's going on with me I even put it on Facebook so if you're wondering you know what happened to Larry well that's what's happening to Larry but on another note if any when things take a serious more serious turn of events Mr. Announcer will let you know okay so uh, don't forget Jim Hines I believe he has some pins on eBay now you can bid on those got a beautiful pin on eBay check it out um, you'll you'll love it when you see it of course it's a Hines custom made pin uh, and I think it's crazy Alan 
I'll be talking more about his store soon. And I believe that Mr. Frank from Federalist Pens and Paper had a great time with his brother and his father all at the Miami Pen Show. They had a good time. They did well. So I'm really glad for them. Good people. Federalist Pens and Paper, good people. Solid people. You know, so if you haven't done any business with them, tell them the pen bug man sent you. Yep. And you'll get that beautiful little smile from little Frankie. Little bitty Frank, little bitty Frankie. And don't forget our pin zoom pin hangout. Daka daka ta. When is it going to be, Mr. Announcer? It's going to be. Uh, it's coming up on Tuesday, which I think is the 27th, yeah. at 6.30 Central Daylight Time. So everybody join us! This coming Tuesday, the 27th, 6.30 p. Central Time, on Zoom Pin Hangout. We'll see you all later. Yakety yak, don't come back. Later, folks. Peace and love, and be kind to a stranger. Why not?